Hi there, today we're going to go ahead and put together a network. And I had already got this done, but for some reason the recording didn't re record for me. So I will break down what I did till now. So I went ahead and got two PCs. These ones right here, just the generic ones, put them up here. And then I went ahead and renamed them. The first one I renamed PCA, the second one I renamed PCB. And then what I did is I assigned them both an IP address. This one has an IP address of 192.168.1.2, and that's the second one. This one has an IP address of 192.168.1.1. And they both have a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So what I'm doing here is I have a simulation getting ready to run where we are setting or we're sending ARP and ICMP packets to check out connectivity here so let's go ahead and give that a go okay and that you saw PCA and B both send their packets to the hub and the hub sends them each respective packet to its destination And if you want to, and here we got the ICMP along with the ARP. And there goes the ARP over to the hub. And back up to B. B's receiving it. And it's going to go ahead and send its response back to the hub. The hub is receiving it, and then it's going to send B's response back to A, letting it know that it received the packet. And that purple envelope shows that we're getting ready to send that one. And we send it to the hub, and that's the IMCP. Or ICMP, my, my apologies. And now it just left the hub, going back to PCB. And the hub is receiving it back, sending it back to PCA, letting it know that it received it. And there we should have another check mark. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the last event. So what we can do here is now check the ARP table, bring it into view for you. Here you see the seven layers of the OSI model. And you can see here layer three, the IP header. Its source IP was 192.168.1.2, which is B because the ICMP was sent from B to A. And you can see here the destination is 1.1. We'll go ahead and close that, and we can do the same for B. If it'll actually let me show you here. And with this one, we're up. We're going to go ahead and skip that since you already know what it would look like. So we're going to go ahead and run a command known as a ARP minus A. And that will show us the internet address of A. We're pinging it from B. Shows you the physical MAC address as it's known and the type of IP address which is dynamic. Alright, thanks for watching my video on Packet Tracer and creating a network, and I hope you guys have a great day.